gentlemen, congratulations on the movie. I absolutely loved it. Thank you for your congratulations <laughs> on the movie. Is that what you mean? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, Sorry. Um, can I start with you? Can I ask you about um, director uh, Tom Hooper? Why was he the perfect director to bring this particular project to the screen? Tom Hooper, because he's a man of immaculate taste, witnessed the fact that he wanted Laura Davison and Ian McKellen to be in the movie. <laughs> that, that's the most alluring thing, if someone offers you the job, for goodness sake. But then I'd, I'd, I'd seen his previous work, and particularly Les Mis, uh, which was uh, relevant to Cats because he was going to use the same technique of not pre-recording the songs, but allowing you to sing them in real time. So that your timing was not stuck with some decisions you'd made in the studio three months before in some cellar when you were hungover and didn't know what you were doing. It's all in the moment. And the, that, that, I think, is, is a, something you can almost touch in this film, that it, it's actually happening. That leap from that dancer is actually happening. And you, you're there. You saw it. And the singing, too. Mm. Absolutely. And, uh, Laurie, if I could come to you. Could you set up the song you sing? Because you get one of the most famous Cats numbers, don't you? Mr. Mistopheles. I remember that song. So to, to set it up for me and perform that number, we love that scene in the movie. So my number, Mr. Mistopheles, comes about when the cats are at their wit's end. Judy Dench has just been... Uh, she's just been kidnapped. Uh, and they, they just don't know how to get her back. And sort of the most unlikeliest of heroes, they sort of last resort turn to Mr. Mistopheles and he doesn't believe he can do it. None of them really think that he's got a chance of doing any actual magic. But what's lovely is that uh, slowly by Victoria and, and, and then, and then Monkestrap, that slight element of belief given the confidence that allows him to perform some real magic. So it's, it's, it's a lovely coming together of this group that we've set up um, and yeah, I think I think it's a it's a number that people will love because it really shows them as a community. And at the end, when the magic, perhaps for the last time, but first time his life works. Ian, I have to ask you. I've got very teary. <laughs> yeah. But wait till you see them with the fur on, even more yes. so. so. So Ian, can I ask you to tell us about going to Cat's Corner? I met a lovely lady downstairs who trained, trained you. I wonder if you can tell us what you learned when, when you went to Cat's Corner and how it enhanced your performances. Well, I didn't go much to Cat's School, honestly. But they, they, they talked a lot about moving with the, leading, leading with the shoulders like cats do. But I, I thought more of not the theatre cat that I was playing, but the particular Gus, who is an old actor, really. And he's on, he's on his hind legs. There, was, there wasn't much chance to look like a cat. So I, I just went for the, the reality of, of, of his uh, predicament in being an old timer who's on his uppers, really. Isn't the cat that he was in his prime, though his name was quite famous. Laurie, can I ask you to, yeah. to tell us just tell us about the journey you're sending audiences on. When the lights go down, they go to see cats in the theatre. Tell us where you're sending on the magical journey we're about to experience. So I think what, what audiences are going to experience with cats uh, is a completely new world um, with incredible new characters, uh, like, a, like a Wizard of Oz style story where you're thrust into this incredible new world. Um, and it's the night of the ball where a new cat gets a life decided by Deuteronomy, old Deuteronomy. But this year, there's there's foul work at play, and they 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 they're cats from Soho, so they're performing cats. Like that's what yes. you know. That there's that there's that theatrical element running through this film, that that, that all of them have an artistry that they want to show, um, and I think that just ties in so nicely with the theatrical nature of the, of where this has been born from, from a stage show. And just one last question okay. for you. Is, okay, all right, okay, thank you very much. Thank, thank you, gentlemen. Ask pleasure it to anyway, me. go on. Thank you. I was just going to say, could you just, what do you want audiences to take away from Cats when they see it? Oh, I just want them to have a good time. I mean, perfect show for this time of year, holiday season, because you can, you can take everybody to it. You could take your granny to it, and she could take the youngest kid. You'd all enjoy it. So... It'll just enhance the uh, 
general feeling of celebration and bonhomie at this time of year. Mm.